Hello and welcome. Please take a moment, read the problem, and try it on your own. Let's start by reading this problem and, and not being scared by this function notation. If f of 1 is 3, okay, so before I read any further, I'm going to stop, pause, and think about what this means. Well, f of 1 means some kind of function has an output of 3. This is our output here because the output is equal to f of 1. And the input is 1. They tell us the input is this number right here. It always indicates 1. Uh, the input, excuse me. So I don't know what our function is. Sometimes people draw functions as like a black box. We'll call this f of x. And black box doesn't have to be black. <laughs> what it means, of course, is that you don't know what exactly goes on inside it. And that's okay. We don't know exactly what goes on inside it yet. But if I put an input into this function, something happens, and then I get an output of 3, right? So we know what our input is going into it. We know it's the number 1, and we know the output's 3. And that's okay that we don't know what's happening inside. We're not worried about that yet. But we know something happens to it, and we're going to probably be analyzing that. So let's go further. It says f of n equals negative 2 times f of n minus 1 plus 1. Okay, that's pretty intimidating, right? That intimidation is pretty heavy right there. But let's, let's break it apart. f of n is based on the following things. Okay, so it's, we said f of x, they're calling it n. Let's just fix that notation. Um, the input could be any variable. Uh, it doesn't have to be x, it doesn't have to be n, it could be anything. But let's be consistent here. So again, now we know something's happening in this function, and we're told now this is happening. This is what's happening inside the black box here, right? Now that might not really help you, but really this is saying a lot. It's saying it takes, we take the number negative 2, and we multiply it by f of n minus 1. And then what we do is add 1 to it. That's what it's telling us to do. That's what f of n is. Now, the scariest part, I think, of this is looking at this piece right here, f of n minus 1. That's just a fancy way of saying the step before, one step before um, f of n. Think about it, saying f of whatever n was, but now it's f of n minus 1, so it's one step before f of n. In other words, find out what happens in the step before whatever step you're looking at. So let's say we're looking at f of 2, for example, right? Let's say instead of f of n, we put a 2 there, make it more concrete. So if you want to know what f of 2 is, you have to take negative 2, multiply it by f of n minus 1, that what happened in the step before f of 2, or f of 2 minus 1, we'll put that in, and then add 1 to it. So how do we do that? Well, we're given f of 1 right here, right? We're told what f of 1 equals. It equals 3. So comma if f of 1 equals 3, now we can solve this. f of 2 equals negative 2 times this is f of 1, right, because 2 minus 1 is 1. And we know f of 1 equals 3, so we plug that in. And then we add 1 to it. So f of 2 would equal negative 6 plus 1, which is negative 5. So what we're really doing here is we're taking the step before a step, to find the next one. In other words, we can't go forward unless we know what happened before. And this kind of a function is called a recursive function. Recursive, going back to the steps before it. Um, it's a very cool kind of function, right? Though it requires us to know what happened before. Let's see what they want us to find. f of 5. Oh boy. So we've got to take a couple of steps here. Let's do that. So you know what f of 2 is? Let's find f of 3. Change colors. So f of 3 is going to equal what? Well, let's follow our formula. Um, where's our formula? There it is. So our formula is right here. We're going to follow that as a guideline. It's going to equal negative 2 times f of n minus 1. In this case, that's f of 3 minus 1 or f of 2. And then we're going to add 1 to it. So that equals negative 2 times f of 2, which is negative 5, plus 1, which is 10 plus 1, or 11. Right? So this function is jumping all over the place, which is kind of cool. And then, change colors again, f of 4, that's going to equal negative 2 times f of 4 minus 1, or f of 3, 
plus 1 equals negative 2 times f of 3. We found out that was 11, right? Oops. And then plus 1. So that's negative 22 plus 1, which is negative 21. And then finally, 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 we get to f of 5. That again will equal negative 2 times f of 5 minus 1, or 4. It's always the previous step before, plus 1. So that equals negative 2 times negative 21 plus 1. A negative times a negative is a positive. It's, it's positive 42 plus 1. Our answer is 43. Let's see if we have that as a choice. Oh, there it is, choice 4. 43. All right, hope this helps.